G'day guys, Mike Woolhouse from ABCPE here, the site where we make VCPE as easy as ABC. Today we're talking about Newton's three laws. Newton's first law is the law of inertia. What this law says is that that ball will remain in its constant state of motion unless acted upon by an external force. In this case, the external force is going to be me and I'm going to move. Okay, now we're going to Newton's second law. This is the law of acceleration. This law says that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the force that you apply. So if force goes up, acceleration will go up. It also says that the acceleration of an object is inversely proportional to its mass. So if mass goes up, acceleration will go down. Here we have three different uh, weighted balls. Over here we've got seven kilograms worth of mass and down here, very little. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna apply the same force on each, three, each of these three balls and let's see what happens to the acceleration. Lightest ball, middle ball, and now the ball with the real heavy mass, safe force, very little acceleration, Newton second. All right, with a lot of these biomechanical concepts, what we'll do is we'll change one variable and see the corresponding effect that has. So in this case, we're gonna change the force. This is my little daughter, Charlie, here. Hopefully, I've got a little bit more force than what she has, and we're gonna hit the same weighted ball or a ball with the same amount of mass and see what ha happens to acceleration as a consequence. So this is where Charlie's going to apply force onto this basketball. Let's see what happens to his acceleration. Go for it, Char. Okay, now I'm going to try and apply a big force to this same weighted ball and see what happens. Finally, Newton's third law. This is the law of action-reaction. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. We think this is best explained on a trampoline. Here we have Charlie again. She's gonna put a little action force into this trampoline, and let's see what the reaction force is. So little action force, a little equal and opposite reaction force going in the same direction that she's pushing, which is down, the reaction force is coming up. Now she's gonna do a big action force and consequently, we have that bigger reaction force, means higher jump. Good job.